Hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we are trying the astound beauty poly gel kit nail and nail gel enhancement kit and we're just gonna open this right up and see what's inside i already don't remember what this kit is so we're just gonna open it we're just gonna open this up and see what's inside oh my goodness Guys, do you see this? This kit comes with the instructions. Dual forms, which I like that they come in a kit because, come on, come on guys. Dual forms should be coming in kits. These, ooh, these are long. But maybe they're just like the regular ones. Um, You guys know I don't really like using dual forms, but these are curved. Curved dual forms are not my favorite, but I don't really use them anyway. This kit comes with a nail lamp. Just kind of pops open like that. And the cord. Comes with a brush. Spatula on one end. And a brush on the other. Kit comes with a hand file, 180 grit hand file. This kit comes with slip solution as well. It's good that it comes with slip solution because we all know, due to the little thing going on, can't find any isopropyl alcohol anywhere. So it's good that these kits come with slip solution. Base coat, top coat, and we have the six poly gels over here. Let's get swatching. These are the six poly gels that come with the kit. The first color we have is soft pink. Really pretty color. And a little more rosy pink than light pink. Next we have rosy pink. Um, I just called this one rosy, but um, this one says it's rosy. So anyway, let's see how this one looks. Okay, see this one is like, looks a little bit sheer. This is what I would call a soft pink, but you know, who am I to say? <laughs> this color I'm really excited for. This is apricot. It's a nice peachy pinky nude. I like that. This one I'm also excited for. This is coral pink. That's interesting. I like it. It's like a reddish orangey sheer color. And the last two colors are color changing. This one looks like the purpley pink to clear. That usually comes in kits, you know, like the basic color changing color. And here's the other color changing color. It seems like it's like a rosy, like a reddish pink color that turns to white. Yes, it's like a milky white. And here are the colors side by side. These are very natural. Um, we got like a nice nude, a couple pinks, and these are color changing. Now I'm just going to put that in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. I should be using the nail lamp that came with the kit, but it's all good. We'll use this one for now. And here are how the colors look after they have been cured. The clear and the white. Nice. And here are the pink colors. So we're using rosy pink and color change. So I'm gonna be using this rosy pink. It's this um light pink that I showed you guys in the beginning. And this is the look we're attempting. Instead of using the blue, I'm using another, a different pink. This color changing pink. I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol and cleaning up the nails from any dust that could be on the natural nail. We're just gonna go straight in with the base coat and just paint this over the entire nail. I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds. Now that the nails are cured, we're just gonna go in and do the middle finger, which is an ombre. I'm going in with the tip color. This is color changing color. It's this um really nice reddish pink that turns white. This is such a tiny, <laughs> tiny little drop. <laughs> so I'm just gonna squeeze some out here. And then I'm gonna take my brush. <laughs> my brush. 
get the slip solution that comes with the kit. Slip solution right here. Then I'm just gonna go in and clean the brush and then just fit the color to the tip of the nail. This color turns white when it's in the heat, I think it turns white. So this poly gel, I like this texture. It's not sticky. In the last, I tried a stone before it with their mermaid kit, and I feel like that kit was much more grainy than this texture. This feels a little more um, balanced, not grainy, not sticky. Yeah, it's changing white right there. So I think that might be a good kind of combo with the pink because it would be like a regular white ombre and then you want some little spice of color that turns pink. So here's how it looks. It's kind of a milky white, I like it. The pinky nail is also ombre. It comes out like frosting. <laughs> <laughs> you make it come out like that. <laughs> Here are those two nails. Now I'm just gonna go in with the rosy pink. This is not a color change color. And just put that near the cuticle, fitting the poly gel into the cuticle, but make sure to clean around it so it doesn't flood. Once I have the poly gel all at one line, I'm just going to blend it all upward. And here are also the colors, this color changing color and this nice light pink color. Well, it looks stupid right now. That's <laughs> the cure. But uh, it's not gonna look like that obviously, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, why is this so strange? <laughs> I'm gonna continue and do the same thing on the pinky, add some of this rosy pink near the cuticle area and then ombre that up. Why does it always come out looking like a popsicle? <laughs> so we're gonna first start off with the rosy pink as the cuticle bead. Pat that to fit the cuticle. I suggest bringing it far enough to cover the where your the tip and your natural nail meet. have her cure that but then i'm gonna go in with another layer of the pink after i have the first section i'm just gonna go in with the second layer because it's not opaque enough to how i want it especially near this area where i kind of thinned it out okay so that's how i want it and then i'm just gonna have her cure that again and then i'm gonna go in with the color changing color and put this at the tip of the nail just doing the same thing as this part we're leaving this clear section to last because i'm gonna put you know, the glitters inside of there. Then I'm just gonna take the color changing again and then do the tip of the nail, just like this one. I'm just comparing these nails to make sure that they are pretty much identical. We're gonna next do the thumb and the thumb is just an ombre. the clear part of the nails. I'm just taking some base coat and I'm going to paint the inside right here. I'm taking this diamond glitter dust and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm just taking these foil. Paint over this glitter part with more base coat. Now that we have a layer of base coat right there, I'm just gonna take this foil, break it up just like these. Then I'm just gonna take these foils and since the base coat is sticky, I'm just gonna place them around. Now that we got that down, I'm just gonna kind of press this foil into the nail. Now I'm gonna go in with more base coat. You can use base coat or top coat, I'm just using base coat. And I'm just gonna paint over these. Then I'm gonna take these butterflies. She wants color number three. And I'm just gonna dip my little tweeza in the top coat. And then just pa place these butterflies around. There was two in there. Okay, and now that we have that done, I'm just gonna have her cure them. Now that we have that done, I'm just gonna go in with some clear. Once I have those encapsulated, I'm just gonna cure the nail. Now that the poly gel has been applied, I'm just going in with my hand file. So these nails don't really look ombre and that's why I didn't encapsulate them. So I'm just gonna let them turn out how they're gonna turn out. Can't wait to go over this footage. <laughs> 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 to be honest, they're an, it's like a three color ombre, not even by choice. Gems. Taking this medium to small size. I'm just taking some top coat and putting some right here where the gems will go. Just gonna pick them up with my wax pencil and then place them on the nail. That looks pretty good. Using these butterflies at Koo Nails on Instagram and thekoonails.com. Their stuff is very affordable. And they sent me this stuff for free, so thanks. We're putting these butterflies on the middle finger right here. have another cuticle oil from Dipped and Dusted Nails. She sent this to me for free, so thank you so much. I decided to get the watermelon, I forgot the name, but water, this watermelon scent and it smells like candy. It smells so good. Make sure you go check her out on Instagram and check out her website, Dipped and Dusted Nails. She sells a lot of cuticle oils. She sells dip powders and yeah, this looks so cute. Like, look at the little watermelons.
So I just got this package from Julia Jewelry. They sent me a piece of jewelry that I picked out for free. So thank you, Julia Jewelry. You guys are not ready for what I got. Oh. So in the box, you get this little pamphlet. Just basically shows you what they have on their website. They got a lot of good stuff. And the piece I got was only $50 and it looks really good quality. It comes with a little bag in case you're giving it as a gift to someone, which I think is so cute because you don't want to just give them this like little, little box. You need something to put it in, you know? Let's get into what I got. Here's what the box looks like. And I got this really beautiful gold that little light glisten. I love that like, Ooh, look. Okay. So this is what I chose. I chose this um, gold necklace. I don't remember the name of it. So here's what it looks like close up. So it has your birthstone on the side. I was born in March, so mine's aquamarine. It's kind of hard to see. It looks a little dark, but it's blue. It's a light blue color. Really pretty. Looks really high quality. Um, I watched Femi Beauty's video and she also reviewed a product from them and she said that she's um, worked with them about three times and the products don't rust or anything like that. And this necklace was $50 and I think it was a good price. Like look how nicely done this is. Now I have my hand model here. I know it's a necklace, but still like, I feel like this would look really good in some pictures just like, you know, like over the neck. You get it. Like, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. So I'm obviously not wearing the necklace like this. I obviously wear it as a necklace, but you know, sometimes for modeling a little touch of gold, like nice for pictures, you know what I mean? This is the piece and here are the nails I done. I did this set on a live stream and I did this set in this video. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Julia Jewelry. Links in my description. And here are the final results. I think these nails turned out so good. The butterflies kind of stick out a little bit, but uh, yeah, we're gonna ignore that. This negative space nail with all the glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.